Salutations, it's me, Salty. Welcome back to Two Cents Toys, and today, I'm not doing another review. Crazy, I know. Try, try to contain yourself. Today, I'm going to be customizing my Killer Croc, like I said I was going to. I think he needs a nice kind of wash on him, bring out some of that detail in the scales, and paint these straps on his arms, and that belt, and the like. So, you see I've got my little drip plate here, which is where I'll be doing most of it. Got some painter's tape to seal off the areas that I don't want to get paint on. I got my bowl of a little bit of water so I can, you know, do my washing. Then I've got my bowl of big water to wash off my brushes completely. Got my little magnifier so I can get in and, you know, kind of take care of some of these finer details if I need to. Also has a nice little LED light feature. Got a little tray of paint here, which uh, kind of give myself a variety of colors. So I'm not really sure what I'm going to use just yet. I'm using Anita's all-purpose acrylic for this whole thing. I'm not sponsored by them or anything like that, just letting you know what I'm using. And to dry the figure off, I'm going to be using dollar bills. Just kidding, I'm using toilet paper, which is basically money right now for some godforsaken reason. Well, I'm going to shut up now, uh, I'll put on some infamous copyright free music so I don't get attacked on YouTube, and uh, yeah, so enjoy. <laughs>
And that's what we get with the wash. Uh, you can see some of the finer details didn't really come out so well. You get the overall gist of it. So I'm gonna let this dry and then we'll come back. We'll take all this tape off. We'll take care of the bandages and the rope and the pants and all that. All right, we are officially dry. And now I'm gonna tackle these kind of bandages. I think I'm gonna go with white on the bandages. I'm gonna try and not get on the fingers. That's gonna be difficult, but I think I'm gonna go white for the base and then maybe do a dry brush of brown and gray to bring out some of the details and make them look aged. And the, the real challenge is gonna be this belt. So, cause I'm gonna do that in white and do a dry brush of gray over it and hope for the best. wait for the white on these wraps to dry which isn't too bad I mean you can still see the green through them a little bit but since I'm gonna be going over them with a dry brush for kind of the grays and the browns and stuff to give them some texture you really won't be able to notice it that much so kind of bad there in the palms but that's okay but while I'm waiting for all that to dry I think I'm gonna try and tackle this rope belt real quick so that'll be the next pain in the butt Thankfully, I have these tiny little detail brushes, so maybe that'll help ease the pain a little bit. done. I have a couple blemishes there on the belt, but I'm able to take some, you know, just a wet detail brush and kind of brush those off. And now I just got to wait for it to dry and then we'll go over, you know, dry brushing and all that to bring some of the details out on the gloves and we should be done more or less, I think. All right, the wraps are dry, the belt is dry, so I think I'm going to go with gray first and then do kind of a dark brown mixed with a light brown to bring out some earth, like he's been digging around in the mud. And I'll probably earth up 
his body too. I might go over a brown wash just to kind of add a little bit more, add some different colors to the palette maybe. Like he's been in the swamp for a really long time, but let's get started. That's it folks that is the end result you know made a few mistakes along the way but that's just the name of the game just a matter of going with the flow and not beating yourself up if it doesn't look exactly how it did in your mind's eye even with the mistakes i'm very happy with how this turned out uh, went a little heavy with the gray but i think it looks great no pun intended a lot more detail in the back you can see that it looks a lot more scaly than it used to looks dirty grimy he's been in the swamps down in the sewers for a while you know, maybe needs to change his bandages a little bit. I think it looks great. Especially when you compare them side by side on how he used to look. Anyway, that has been a custom video with me. And if you guys like these, I'll do more in the future because I do customize a lot of stuff. If, you know, if you're interested, just comment, like, subscribe, do a lot of stuff. Let me know if you want to see more of these kinds of videos and I'll make it happen. Anyway, that's all I got. So thanks for stopping by and spending all this time with me today. Until next time, I'm Salty, signing off. Music